After three weeks of auditions, Wyoming has finally selected the K2 TV Anchor for a Day winners. Here they are. In first place, we congratulate Deb Allen from Jackson, Wyoming, with 709 votes. Deb will play the role of primary anchor. In second place, we congratulate Teague Bird from Casper, Wyoming, with 202 votes. Teague will be the sports anchor. In third place, it's John Bonar from Casper, Wyoming, with 127 votes. The local historian will be the K2 TV history reporter. And in fourth place, we congratulate Lauren Olson with 75 votes. Lauren will be the weather anchor. Now, it was a close call between Lauren and Mark Medea from Evanston, Wyoming. Mark Medea came in just two votes short behind Lauren, and he did such a great job auditioning that the K2 News team decided to expand the contest to the top five. Mark, with 73 votes, will serve as primary co-anchor with Deb. The Anchor for a Day winners will actually anchor the entire newscast for us this Wednesday on May 25th, and I can promise you that that is going to be a newscast that you don't want to miss. <laughs> and the lucky winners have also won makeovers. They'll get free hair and makeup done by Omid at Casablanca's. I'm looking forward to having an evening off. <laughs> I, I am going to enjoy this. <laughs> so I had tonight. Meet the robots from Laramie who may get the job of finding people who are lost in the woods. And the Pistons take on the Heat in the NBA Finals. Frank Gambino has the story in sports. Live from the K2 studios in the heart of Wyoming, this is the K2 News at 10 with Naja Hall, Tom Brand, Peter